Assalamualaikum. Hi, we continue with the chapter 2 of wave emigrations superposition. So right now, we are discuss about the two simple harmonic motion which is both of them are move in the same direction but with slightly different frequency. What happened? For this system, then we can discuss here. And we try to discuss by the mathematical view, the visual, audio maybe, and the particle maybe. Uh, what happened? To the, to the superposition of these two superharmonic motion. So, example, if we have two uh, wave source, okay, example speaker, usually have both have the same frequency. But what happened? Maybe some uh, something happened to your speaker, one of the speaker. So, the uh, the frequency will divide. Okay, they have a slightly lower tone compared to another one. So what will happen to the source of the sound from the speaker? So maybe you can discuss here uh, by doing the mathematical first. Okay. So example, we have now two frequency. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, two simple harmonic motion. Okay. Uh, x one and x two, which is x one, uh, we define as a e cos omega one t. X two is a cos omega 2t so right now we define a is equal the amplitude is same but slightly different frequency and right now we are using uh, phase angle will be zero so we're not uh, we want to calculate the phase angle um, by uh, add both of the equation we can get x1 plus x2 is equal to a cos omega 1t plus a cos omega 2t so using the trigonometry identity Okay, trigonometry at which is same cos alpha plus cos beta. So we can get this uh, equation uh, for 2 cos alpha plus beta over 2 cos, uh, cos alpha minus beta over 2. So from here, we can get the value A same. Okay, so we, we can get here 2A. Okay, A we can bring in front. And here it will be cos omega 1 plus omega 2 over 2 times T because both have T. And times cos omega 1 minus omega 2 over 2 times t. Okay. And here, okay, it doesn't have x here. Okay, just cancel here. So this will be the equation for the um, superposition of the same direction. With different frequency and we call it also pit frequency okay and here we can say that this is a fast period and this is slow period means that uh, here example example if we have two frequency one is a 200 hertz and the second one will be 204 hertz slightly different so um, this is will be omega 1 and omega 2. It's okay using uh, f because omega is a 2 pi f. Both omega. So omega can bring fine and cancel with 2. So we have here frequency. And when we add both frequency, 200 plus 204, you can get here 404 hertz. This will be this equation. And for the slow period, what we have here is 200 minus 204, you have your minus 4. Modulus can we have here 4 hertz. So right now, you have 4 hertz and 404 hertz. Means that the frequency actually move uh, faster for this. Okay. So you have two frequency now. Uh, 404, someone will move very faster for one, uh, one second. But for 4 hertz, maybe it's very slow. For one second. And how we can deal with this, okay? Um, but first, we need to find the uh, f bit, okay? The frequency of bit also. The frequency of bit is uh, f1 minus s2, and then you can get here is 4 hertz, okay? The slow period. Why? Okay. So, right now, I'm going to show the graph what happened to the bit frequency. Okay, so example here, 
you have graph this for the x1 and this for the x2 which is slightly lower frequency okay so if you can see here uh, both have a different phase okay uh, sorry the different um, cycle so when we combine both of the equation in using the equation cos uh, cos uh, uh, trigonometry identity so we can produce something like here which is this is the amplitude okay so what uh, happened inside this what we call as a uh, fast period and the outside is a slow period the slow period we can say it is a amplitude so this happened to the graph and what the meaning behind this graph okay so before that we have a uh, frequency bit bit frequency means that is the point between these two okay these two peak okay when we the uh, the frequency between this this okay so you can get the value there will be four hertz for the 200 and 204 there we calculate before okay so now uh when we go back to the um calculation okay so for for hertz say from peak to peak and also the effect what happened what happened to the frequency okay before this i need to rearrange this graph so i may better cancel it everything here okay clean up everything here So I need to write differently here. Um, the slow period will be at the, at the front. So it means that x equal 2a. So I bring the slow period here. Cos omega 1 minus 2 over 2 times t times cos omega 1 plus omega 2. and this will be the fast okay and the lowest the slower period here we call it as a amplitude okay this will be the amplitude amplitude of the speed graph okay so you can see here for the amplitude okay but, uh, you can see here the amplitude okay uh, this one this uh, the amplitude of the graph okay okay this is the amplitude and this inside there will be the high frequency okay the high frequency that we, we have so a lot of the frequency here and what happened to the sounds that we produce if we have um, bit frequency okay so it's like a wave packet here. Okay. I hope you can reduce your volume um, of speaker. I'll try to play this. We have two tones here. Okay. One will be 440 hertz. Another one will be 441. I have two sound generator here. And I hope you can reduce your speaker. Okay. Play one. Okay, so what we have here, what we have here is a sound packet, okay? Um, you can hear that they have some something like up and down, up and down, up and down. So that will be the uh, bit frequency that you can hear from the sound generator. So this is same with the uh, graph here. So they have here up and then down, up and down, up and down. Okay, so the smaller gap between two frequency, okay, uh, omega one and omega two, you can get very slow uh, movement, uh, up and then slowly down, up, down. But if we increase the, the difference between these two frequency, what happens? It become faster. 
Okay, very fast and maybe after certain uh frequency they will uh reduce or we can, we can doesn't hear the uh the up and down sounds anymore okay so that will be the bit frequency and this will be crucial when we calculate for the next chapter okay of the wave vibration and very interesting part uh, i hope you can understand this okay so see you again for the next video assalamualaikum bye